What's up everybody? This is Monty with Mon TV and today we are building a drum isolation booth. So I apologize guys if it's too noisy up here. It's August, it's Texas, and I'm upstairs in my back house and it's probably getting close to 95 degrees already and it's only like 9 in the morning so I got the fans running up here. And essentially what we're building is this. So as of the making of this video, I've already built the isolation booth. So, unfortunately, how I'm gonna show you how to build this thing is by taking it apart. So what you can see is to save some money, we used mattresses to line the whole back wall. So we only created one, two, three, four, five, six, seven panels to enclose the entire drum cage. One being a door, which I've actually already removed but the door is sheetrock, just typical, probably, what, half inch? Mm, sheetrock, something like that. It's a frame, and then we wrapped it with some material, and I'll show you, every panel has this, a very sound absorbing uh, foam. This isn't something you buy at Home Depot, this is very special Stuff. Actually, I'll probably make a description on the bottom after the fact what exactly this material is that's really good from, for absorbing sound. So with no further ado, let's get started. So the next thing we're going to do is add the sheetrock. And as you can see guys, they have different thicknesses of this insulation. I think this, is, this one's probably about three inches and this one's probably about two. So depending upon where you're gonna apply it, make your decision. So the most important step to this project is hydration. Make sure you stay hydrated. And as I continue to melt, next thing we do is begin to take off the roof. Take this insulation out. This is the roof, guys. This insulation is held together with some fa some uh, fabric underneath. It's kind of like a burlap or something. I thought it was cool looking. Okay, you can see where these two wall panels come together. We stuffed insulation in between to fill in any cracks and you can see now really simply how we attach these frames together with just simple uh, door hinges. Okay at this point all the insulation has been removed from the roof and you can kind of see what we're doing here. We have this burlap material that we're stapling down to the tops of the wall panels and we built up this 2x4 frame for the insulation, the roof insulation to sit into, and this is attached, toenailed into the tops of the wall panel. So we got to remove these two bys before we can start taking, disassembling the walls. So let's do that next. Okay, at this point I'm starting to take the trim on the top of the ceiling off, just following the shape of your drum isolation booth, your drum cage. Uh, yours may be a little bit different shape than mine. Uh, but just take your two bias, sit them on end, and, uh, and uh, toenail them to the tops of the wall panel. So I'm going around taking all those guys off, then I'll be able to take the center beams off, and then we'll be just left with the walls. Whew. So I'm sweating like crazy, but we're getting down to the core of the project, which are the panels individual panels. <coughs> Excuse me. I think there's insulation here, dust or something I'm breathing. Probably not good for me, but 
all the panels are put into position and then screwed down to the floor. And so these screws right here, one, two, three. the panel in place so now once we basically get the rafters disconnected from the tops of the panels we can start to manipulate move the panels get them out of the way unscrewed via the door hinges so let's do that now Okay, here is the main panel. We've wrapped it with some material of choice. This is some kind of burlap kind of stuff. This is the front. Just wrap it around the corners, staple it. Basic two by four construction. Um, the magic to this is the way we connected the uh, plexiglass. So I slotted the plexiglass, which is a little tricky, but uh, Use your brains and you can figure it out. I just slotted it and then slid the plexiglass into place, siliconed it down. Uh, and this is the main section of the drum cage. It's all go together with hinges again, just like I showed in the previous clip. With the hinges, it's really it works really awesome because then you can just position the panels and shape the drum cage the way you want it. So once we have all the panels, the roof removed, all we're left with is the deck, which is just a couple plies of plywood, some trim, and then sandwiched underneath it is more of that insulation. Now in hindsight, if I were to do it again, I would actually put, probably build up some uh, one by ones or something, a uh, substructure underneath it. But for this project, all I did was lay the insulation right on the floor, lay the plywood right on top of it, and tack the trim on. So there you have it guys, a very simple and affordable drum isolation booth for your band, for practice, or whatever. Um, it goes together in a weekend. Again, it's pretty affordable. I think I probably spent $400, three, $400 on the project. So if you like the videos, make sure you subscribe down below. Mon TV, check it out.